I'm pretty much surrounded by uh, planners at the moment. Uh, all different kinds and all different sizes, uh, all different types. Uh, I've got the Hobonichi and a File Effects Pocket Rio. I have a red uh, Franklin Covey zip. And I have a classic... Um, this is one of the original Franklin planners. Uh, this logo here with um, Ben Franklin. I actually looked it up and I think Franklin Planner started in um, 1984 and was absorbed by Franklin Quest in 1989. So uh, I believe this binder is that old and it's beautiful. This looks just like the leather on my um, Forging and Rita. So I did talk about this binder before. I'm not going to talk specifically uh, about it, but I want to talk about what I'm doing. Uh, I had some questions, and that's what all these are doing. Um, my File Effects Pocket Rio, I'm not going to use this as a planner. I've never been successful at that size, but I missed it as a wallet. Um, it was actually my favorite wallet. You could put it in your hand, you could put it in your pocket. It has um, a wallet slot in the back. It has a fabric zipped compartment for change so it's not stiff and I can put cards and paper for notes and things like that and I really haven't been happy with a wallet since I switched out of that so I'm going to go back to that. Um, now I've been using the uh, Franklin planner because I needed to keep records of the pictures that I'm doing. I was losing track. I wasn't figuring out how much money I spent. And it was really, um, you know, I felt kind of uh, out of control with it. Um, I didn't want to spend more money than I had. Wow. Uh, I didn't want to spend more money than I had. And... Um, so I needed to figure out a way to track it. And uh, I, I decided to use this one because, you know, the products that you can get in the United States that are supposed to stick never, you know, not only is this sticky, but I added a glue strip and it still doesn't stick. I, I'm so sick of um, anything that's supposed to be sticky and uh, available from a United States company because what good is this oh my god I mean the other two didn't stick I've got a paper clip and a binder anyway let me not start with non sticky sticky stuff um, so the reason I'm in this is really about the artwork that I'm doing I needed a place to put all the pictures of the dogs I've done um, Actually, these two are the last ones. This is um, Alden the Cane Corso. This one is Phoenix with his teddy bear. And he's a greyhound. Um, so I tried a whole lot of ways to figure out how to manage what I was doing. Like how much time I was spending, how much money I was spending on postage how much money I was spending on supplies, um, how long it took me to do, how long it took me, how long it took the picture to get there, and when I was all done with it, because I, I had had this list um, of people that asked me to do pictures, and I had no idea where I was in the list, and no idea how long things were taking me, and I just felt like I needed a better grasp on what was going on. So, first I tried... Um, Um, the insert my pocket I mean my pocket my my personal sized um, DIY fish monthly calendar and that worked initially I could put the little pictures on here and I ran into a problem because this month I did a lot of pictures um, the other problem I had is here I would put the name of the dogs 
I would put when I started and finished them, which worked out great. And then any costs associated with doing the picture. The problem was, as I did more and more, I would get down to the bottom and the date I started would be over here. So I would have to flip all the information and that just didn't work for me at all. Um, I also did a running list back here, which is something that actually worked. Um, but I sort of wanted to get, oh, and these are my pumpkins. I have to finish October. Uh, this is on a, it's essentially a craft paper. It's a Strathmore Tone Tan uh, art paper. It's really stiff, which makes it thicker than um, anything else I've used. On the other hand, I have not had to put washi or anything on the holes. They're perfect. I've had it in and out of here, in and out of my, um, here uh, a million times, and it's still perfect. Um, so the next thing I did was, oh, this is fun, the Daily Streak. It's a free print printable from ProductiveLuddite.com. Uh, the next thing I was going to, next thing I tried was, I did a free printable from Filofaxi. And I could do a start and a stop date and a mail and a deliver date. And the problem I ran into here, as I did more and more dogs, um, the information was overlapping and there was not enough room to overlap any of them without putting an extra tag on. So that didn't work for me. Um, then this was a planner page for 2015 that um, somebody sent it to me. I think um, Judith sent it to me. And um, I was thinking about trying something like this, but I ran into the same, I would have run into the same problem that I ran into here. So I'm just going to use this as a 2015 um, overview. And then I tried this, which actually was um, successful, but kind of a mess. I made columns, um, the dog and person's name when I started it, when I finished it when I mailed it, when it was delivered, and any associated costs. And sort of I was playing with how many squares I needed and here I ended up um, making these columns bigger. But it's just, you know, if, if I was going to use something like this I would want to actually print it up. I don't really like the, the mess of all this, you know, just random lines and you know, stuff like that. I really would rather have a precise graph. And I was going to try, uh, these are the new LM Hyperdex inserts by DIY Fish and Marianne uh, Mall. And I was going to do the um, record keeping um, on, a, on this um, day on two pages, although I have a feeling I really only need a day on one page. Um, but right now I have a day on two pages and I would do it similarly to what I was doing in the Hobonichi, but I don't want to have to root through thousands of pages to figure out where I am or what I've done or if I'm looking for something in particular. So this was a no-go um, for keeping track of um, my artwork. Um, what I ended up getting was the DIY Fish Small Project Planner, um, I think they're called. And let me just go to a blank one if I have a blank one. Okay, so the pages are, there. it's a weekly insert and I have space to, um, did I even write anything in here? I don't even think I, I wasn't using this, I was using this. Um, so what I would do is I would put, so we're, we're only talking about a week here. So in this section, I would put, um, the name of the, the dog and the name of the person and the day that, wow, the day I started it. Um, and when I finished one, I would fill in a square. 
on that day because this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I was using like a series of, see this means finished, mailed, delivered, and I use a dot for when I start them. And it's, and if this one was started prior, I put an arrow. If like Hannah actually should have an arrow that's going in that direction. So that means there's more on the pages after. This means there's more on the pages before. And um, I think this will be good because I, I can put, I can do the little pictures like I was doing on this. I can do them down here and I can put any contact information up there and I think that this is going to work for me I've, I've been using it about a week and you know I think the thing with any new insert any new way of doing anything it's a little confusing um, at first for sure and you just have to sort of go go with it and um, make it make it your own so this may say one thing, I may use it for something else. This has a whole lot of tracking options, but really all I want to know is when it when something was delivered, what day that week something was delivered. So there's a lot of space that I'm not really using right now, but I, you know what, I don't care. As long as I know what I'm doing and where I am in what project, uh, that's good for me. I mean, I this is really good for multiple projects projects that are a couple of days long and for me don't have a lot of parts um you know so each thing is a separate project and i just know information about it in this area and this area um and then i have space if i want to add some more um uh, the other thing i've been doing is I started using the LM Hyperdex and um, really like them. Now, a lot of people can, you know, use each concentric arc here to mean a different thing. Um, it could mean, uh, you, you, you know, where you are, what you're doing, who you're with. Um, if your kids have to be in two different places at one time, the um, A5 or half letters page um, has six possible different things you can record per hour normally for me I don't have that and so every hour has the same thing and I've decided to do something I've never done before which was color code uh, because color code is really good for radial planners um, I'm trying out some colors and color combinations uh, you know, to find the one that works best for me. And the other thing that I'm doing, see, I mean, it can be really simple. Um, it doesn't have to be complicated. I mean, it can be as complicated as you need. It could be, every hour can be full, every hour can have a different color even, but that, you know, that's not my life. So, you know, really, I've just got four things tracked here. And that's a good way to start, you know, to track less rather than more because then it's not confusing to look at. Now, the other thing I decided to do, and this is new, is I've started, I've decided to use patterns instead of just um, colors. Uh, because I, I want to minimize, the, I mean, I was carrying around a crap ton of pencils and always and it was just too much so I've got it whittled down to not even that many I mean it's there's a few more things in this pencil case besides the pencils but um, using patterns sort of allows me to have a minimum of categories with a no a maximum of categories and a minimal of pens so um, and then I've got a key down here that I, I won't need um, after I'm used to it but right now I am not used to it so I started that day with patterns and there's a 
to say. Now this um, the self care category is really just a, a time to check in with myself and see if I'm tired, if I'm hungry, if I need a break, if I want to just do something that's entertainment. Um, so I, I try to do that once a day. I've actually been watching a movie or, or a TV show or something I want to do just to stop and um, regroup. And the black polka dots on white is um, actually planning. I'm, I'm setting time for planning. Uh, I'm, I'm more worried that I'm wasting too much time, you know, playing with my planners than I am worried that I'm not giving enough time to planners. So, you know, I mean, if I can look in the morning and see that I've been jostling with my planners for two hours, I really don't need to be doing it anymore. And, um, you know, that that's certainly a pattern. Everybody, it's a black pen, you know, and I and just on white. The uh, red checkerboard are housework or household things or laundry or cooking or whatever I am doing that day and I need to do in the house. Um, and I did an example. I put the Hyperdex on. This is on Marianne's original Hyperdex. And there are some differences. Uh, and I wrote them down. It's in military time. It's a larger circle. It has uh, three sections instead of four or six. Uh, all the lines are black. There's no gray lines. Um, I think this one has bigger numbers than the LM Hyperdex. Um, it's, they're pre-printed. They're not sold as downloads. It's uh, undated. So um, whereas the LM Hyperdex has um, the day and date in the middle. Um, it has a clear center, which I used to use to put a little weather sticker in. Uh, it's got a thicker change of day line because the day runs uh, midnight to 11.59, basically. And um, I think I said the rest of it. It's also on the paper uh, Marianne uses for her planners, which is a, a really nice, fine um, ivory paper. I know she doubles up. Uh, I know she pastes this, not paste. Well, I don't actually know. I think she glues this down on her sheets because she uses markers and markers go through this paper. Um, it's really fine with gel pens, honestly, but um, they're not as wet. Uh, so here's some, so I, this is, I put the, the finished um, artwork on the second page. As opposed to the little the little sheet, and this is the beginning of today. And uh, you know, I mean, I guess that's it. I mean, I I made a section which, of course, had to be reinforced with glue and a paper clip because they don't stick. Um, I made a section for receipts, so those are uh, tracking receipts and also receipts for supplies I buy. I, I've done artwork and, and things in the past and I always, and, and you know, anything, I mean, beads or, you know, stamping. And I always end up like all of a sudden with having to buy another piece of furniture to store it all. And I have spent a fortune and I'm, I just can't do that. I just can't do that again. And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it again. So you now I'm keeping a close eye on that. And uh, that's really it. I put my contacts in here. Um, I just repunched them from the uh, A5, and that seems to work. I have a zipper compartment with extra note paper if I need it. And um, but really, that's it. I mean, this is a really nice binder. I I mean, I out of all of the ones that I got from FreeCycle, this is. Absolutely my favorite. I, I love the square uh, spine. The rings are, I think they're 1.5, I think. Uh, I don't like the magnetic clasp. I just think it's not as secure. Um, it doesn't allow you to just fill, you know, fill it to maximum capacity and have it stay closed. Um, 
I've got dividers for the first time. I really never needed dividers, but I was having trouble finding the uh, pages that, you know, that I wanted. Um, so I just wanted to show you my new, my new dog. This is Ventura. He's not my new dog, but this is Joey. Hi, Joey. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh. I know, I know, look. Oh, okay. So I had to introduce her, but now I woke her up, so we're gonna have we're gonna have some excitement here. Uh, Joey, I, I want you to lay down. Joey, a couche. No. <laughs> a couche, Joey. Yeah, that's really not happening. But I wanted her to say hi to everybody and Hope the video. Good girl. Oh, good cliche job. Oh, yeah. She's still pretty excited. So um, I guess you'll be seeing her from time to time. And her tail is always going. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if anybody has any other questions about the inserts, um, let me know. I will be glad to. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Um, I would be glad to talk more about them if, you know, I know what it is that you want to know. So thank you. Thank you so much.